Welcome back to the grind for a preview of the spells for the Frost Wreath Festive Tarax, which is the legendary ice warrior that is released for the festive dragon this season. Now, a quick review of the season structure we have the mythics at the top, which require three keys. The three keys can come from all either of those uh, branches below them. We, we had Golgrim, Griff, uh, Roshin, the base boost, Morak, and then Mackenzie, the defensive rider. Now you can see the cost of each of those lines in the numbers there, 31 for the regular season dragons, and then 30,000 sigils for the other branches, as well as the festive dragon. Why the dragons are different prices, I don't know, but those who are going for the festive, I think will appreciate having to spend less on it. So Tarax, a pretty cool looking ice warrior. Uh, the spells, however, they're kind of interesting, but I don't think will make him a very strong overall dragon. The first one is called Whiteout, and this one damages and freezes nearby towers, and then those towers will take increased damage after being frozen. So this can be helpful. Essentially, that is a temporary increased damage boost, but right now we don't know how much increased damage those towers will take and how long that effect will last for. So we'll have to figure out that, as well as we don't know how many towers this spell will reach and how long it will freeze them for. So that will actually make a significant impact on how good this dragon is. The next spell we have is a blue spell. It's called Hibernate, and this will restore a massive amount of health over a long period of time. It can only be used once, however, which is disappointing, and it does not sound like it will regenerate rage. And, it, you know, to me, it sounds like this will be like maybe like a 10 to 15 second spell that will last that long. And over time, it'll slowly regenerate health. Um, but the details on how fast it regenerates and how much total health it regenerates will really make a big difference on to how effective that spell is for this dragon. Having a heal that lasts, say, like 10 to 15 seconds would be pretty cool because it could last for pretty much your whole long middle island stretch. But... If it's only healing a small amount really slowly over that time, then the towers would out damage it and it really wouldn't be effective. So we'll really have to see what that shows. The next spell he has is Ice Lance, which fires a projectile to destroy towers and it's automatically chosen. So basically this sounds like spell flux to me. Uh, I am imagining that it will cost about two rage and basically we'll just take out a tower and it'll probably prioritize the red and blue mages like the spell flux does. So it has that instant uh, tower destruction and then you can freeze the other towers temporarily and you have a heal to restore some health and allow some sustain and then lastly a fire flak resist which will allow you to take less damage from fire flak so you don't have to prioritize those towers as much so uh, for this dragon i would imagine you come around the corner and if there's a blue mage you will have to take out the blue mage first before you can use hibernate but you will be able to use ice lands to destroy one tower immediately and then use whiteout to freeze the towers before the super shots or damage dealing shots hit you so you can prevent that damage initially and up to, after that i don't know what will happen because i don't know the cooldowns or the rage costs but i would imagine that after about five or so seconds you will be able to use ice lance again and who knows maybe five or so seconds you can use whiteout again i don't know how long whiteout will last again that will be a huge factor in how strong this dragon is because the increased damage bonus and the duration of the freeze will be i think key factors in this dragon's ability to you know deal with a base so all in all, I don't think this dragon is going to be an incredible dragon, but it may be a fun one to play with, and it may be uh, viable, again, depending on the spell details, which I won't have for you until early next week, but hopefully I can get that out to you quickly on, a, I think, Tuesday is when that releases. And at that point, I can give you a little bit more idea of how effective this dragon will be. I think that it will probably be an average ability warrior, um, but this one to me looks pretty cool. The spells are kind of interesting, and so it might be a more of a fun, interesting dragon to fly. Kind of has a sorcerer-like feel to it with the spells that it has. Um, and the appearance I find to be pretty unique, pretty interesting. Um, so I think a lot of people might enjoy that. If you're not going for a mythic and you haven't uh, committed to a dragon yet, um, wait and see what the spell details show. Uh, I'll give a review on that and what I think about the rest of the season and hopefully help you decide on what to do with your hard-earned sigils. So hope you enjoyed, hope this helps, and we'll see you in the next video.